Uh, well, this one could get ugly. Texas versus UCLA on Saturday. And as I said in the last Longhorn video I made, um, I will be heading to the ball game in Arlington. I'm going to get up early in the morning, uh, head to Dallas, and then me and some friends of mine from uh, UT, uh, we will be uh, going down to AT&T Cowboys Stadium uh, to uh, watch the Texas Longhorns play UCLA. It'll actually be the second game I've watched in Cowboys Stadium. Neither of them have been Dallas Cowboys games. They've pretty much priced out all the real fans. Um, but uh, I, I, I took a tour of the stadium uh, back when we were first building it. Uh, when my high school team, the Henderson Lions, uh, played Chapel Hill in 2010 for the, for the state championship and won, I got to watch them do that. And now I'll watch the Longhorns play UCLA and uh, Brett Hundley. Uh this is hard to talk about. It's, it's, it's when your team gets beat forty-one to seven at home. It's really hard and difficult to, to to really dissect an upcoming game against a quality opponent and really try to make the argument that you're going to win. You can do it. I mean, you can talk about certain things that happened in the game that I think this hadn't happened or this just got away from us and this other team's a little overrated. But it's it it's really hard for me with a straight face to sit here and say the Texas Longhorns. <coughs> have a real shot uh, to knock off the UCLA. But I kind of think that Texas has a real shot to knock off UCLA. Um, they shouldn't be favored. Um, is there but is there a chance that the Horns could win? Yeah. Because I think if you look at this defense, and Taysom Hill destroyed them in the third quarter uh, last week, but this defense has changed. And, and there still are play even though... The, and like I said, it, it, it's all contradictory and it's all like fan stuff. But even though Brigham Young still scored 41 uh, against Texas like they did last year in Provo, um, it didn't feel like the same 41. I don't know. The thing about UCLA right now, UCLA, and, and even, even the Bruins fans have noticed this, is that the, at the first two weeks, although they've won ball games, uh, they haven't really lived up to the expectations that were put on them this season. Um, and when you say overrated, that's kind of, that's always really a negative connotation, like, oh, this team's overrated. But I think with UCLA, I don't think it's a it, it, it's an insult. I think it's a lot, too many people were putting too much on this particular squad. I think this is a very good football team, but this is a team that belongs in the top 10, a team that could compete in the Pac-12 for that Pac-12 championship. But it's a team, though, that's been put on the pedestal as being the dark horse to win the entire championship. Um, that's where people are thinking they may be overrated. Not that they're a bad football team, but are they really a national title contender? They're more so than Texas, but hey. Um, you know, week one against Virginia, uh, went across country, had to play 11 o'clock in the morning, which was 9 o'clock, um, uh, uh, of UCLA time, uh, wasn't, didn't look good. Uh, Virginia looks better, but they had to score three defensive touchdowns to win that ball game. Brett Hundley only scored their, scored their lone offensive touchdown on a scramble uh, to the end zone. Um, and then last week had a shootout at home against Memphis. But you look at Texas, and you beat North Texas, who whatever, it doesn't matter, and then Brigham Young, your first quality opponent, comes to town and whips your behind. But I really do expect the Texas defense to bounce back. It's the offense, though, that I think will end up costing Texas this game. Um, like I said, I think Texas has a chance. Uh, but when you don't have an offensive line, when you've got a guy like Tyrone Swoops, who is definitely talented, but it's very limited, if you can stick with the game plan, if you can stick with that quick out passes, you can survive. Um, but I don't know if, if this is a team. And it's so strange because back when I was in school at Texas, and even before that with Vince and with Colt and those guys, with those groups of teams, it never it didn't matter what the score was in the third quarter. Texas could be beaten by getting beat by four touchdowns. The, Lord, the Horns were never out of a ball game. If this, if this thing gets more than two scores out of Texas' reach, it's probably over. Um, and and as has been reported, Jackson Shipley's not playing this week now. He's got a head injury. So that's one more weapon we're taking off this offense, one more safety blanket 
to remove from Tyrone Swoop's arsenal. Um, but John Harris is still out here. John Harris has been the best wide receiver this season so far. We still have the stable of running backs. The offensive line is still a shambles, and that's that right now with the Texas Achilles heel. So I expect the defense to back it, to to to, uh, to have a comeback game. I still believe in Charlie Strong when it comes to that side of the football. And when it comes to offense, it's just going to be damage control for Texas. Um, I hope Texas wins. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to – I know when I walk in that stadium as a fan, you're going to convince yourself that they will win. Um, but more than likely, the Bruins just too experienced, especially at quarterback. I have a lot of respect for Brett Hundley and Jim Mora. Uh, it's going to be tough for the Horns. And the thing is, you know <clears> – <throat> Sunday, you had, you know, when the Cowboys played the Niners, that place was full of Niners fans, mainly because Cowboys fans sold their tickets because uh, they didn't want to watch a, a subpar team and pay that kind of money to watch them. And I know personally of, of Longhorns fans who had these tickets who have sold them to Bruins fans. I expect a huge contingent of UCLA fans at this ball game. I don't know if they outnumber the Texas fans, but they'll, be, <clears throat> they'll definitely be, be there and be loud. Um, so we'll see what we can do with that one. So it's not a great weekend of college football games. This was supposed to be one of the marquee matchups of this weekend, but Texas really dropped the ball last week against Brigham Young. Um, hopefully we make it a good ball game. Hopefully we pull out the win. More than likely we won't. Um, but I'll be in the ball game holding the horns up, and uh, hopefully it will be seeing the eyes of Texas after a victory. One can hope. Hook em horns, Texas fight. And we'll see you guys next time.